Hi class, this is the first video for week four. We're going to move mailboxes. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to zoom out of this for a little bit. So the first thing I need to do is create a new database to move the mailbox to. The server is my only server that I have. And the name will be mailbox2, mail2 rather. While that's working, I'm gonna open up my console. So I need to restart this service. So get service. Display name. Microsoft Exchange Information store. Okay, the name of the service is MF Exchange IS. So I'm going to restart service, dash name, MS Exchange IS. After you create a new database, you have to restart the, the storage. I'm going to do a get again, just to verify that it's running. And it's running. Now, when I create that database, It's not mounted. Let me sign in. I'm going to pause the video. Oh, it's here. Okay, I'm going to go to server, servers, database. And the database will automatically get mounted at boot. But right now, when you first create it, it's unmounted. If you highlight it, go to edit. Under maintenance, not under maintenance. Uh, let me see where it's under general, no. Limits, client settings. It's in here somewhere. Oh, it's unmounted. I can't. Oh, right now, by default, it's going to mount at startup. I don't have to do anything. I could force it not to mount, but by default, it will mount. So instead of restarting my server, I'm just going to manually mount the database. Mount. Database. Dash. Identity mail two.
come back here, refresh the page. It's going to hit F5. And I can see that it's mounted. So I'm good to go. So I want to move a mailbox from here to here. So just to get a list of user accounts, I'm going to do get mailbox. Just so I get a name to move. Now you don't actually move the mailbox right now. What you do is you put it in the queue and it moves it when it's safe to do so. So I'm going to do new move request, identity, and I'm just going to move the bottom one. Wayne Camacho. Target database will be mail to and bad items limit is going to be 10. So basically, if there's 10 pieces of corrupt mail or less than 10, I'll still consider this a successful move. So I'm going to hit Enter. And it might not be moved right now. It might still be going on. So I'm going to do get mailbox identity Wayne Camacho select property database. It's still in, it's still in uh, mail. If I go back here and I go to recipients, sorry, go to recipients, go to migration. Well, it's already, it's already moved. No, it's not. I might need to refresh this. I'm going to pause the video while this is while I'm waiting for this to be moved. While I'm waiting for it, you can see that the status detail when we ran the new move request command, it's queued. So I'm going to pause again. Okay, it's finally moved. So now that that user account is now inside of that database. Guys, I'm going to do another user account. I just want to show you. Um, I'm going to look at Elvis Pittman. New move request. Identity is And I'm going to type um, bad item limit is 10. But I'm not going to specify a database. I only have two databases. So if I don't specify a database, it's going to move it to the other database that, um, that I have available. Again, it's queued. So we're going to wait a little bit. And um, let it get updated. So while that's going on, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to my graphic console. I'm going to take four accounts. 
I can move things in batches. Or I could just move one if I wanted to. All the way at the bottom, you can choose you can choose the other database you want to move it to. So I'm going to grab these three users or these six users and move them to another database. When I have multiple items selected, I have to go to more options. At the very bottom, move to another database. And then it's called a batch move. So I'm going to type in the name. Um, and whatever naming convention you have, I'm just going to go by the date. And I'm going to browse for the new database. I don't have any archive database set up yet. Again, I'm with a, a 10 limit. If there's more than 10 corrupted pieces of mail, the move will not be successful. Administrator. It's going to take a few minutes to, to queue it up. It's, it's asked me, do you want to go to the migration dashboard to see your migration? I'm going to say yes. And there's right now is the status of this. Guys, I'm going to end this video. I'm just going to assume it's going to be successful. But we basically did it graphically, and we also did it in PowerShell. Um, and we moved the databases. Get mailbox. So Elvis Pittman is already done with the move. So we're just waiting for this to be uh, queued up and, and actually done. Okay, so that's it for this video. I'm going to upload it, and then I'll create some more.